Mr. J, having a discussion about chickens, roads, and tactical nukes. Just minding our own beeswax when we heard about this awesome party for the bad guy. So I says, hey, Puddin', how comes you never told me we was going to a party? And he says, we didn't get invited. I mean, how rude! Not that me and Mr. J ever waited for an invite or nothing, but it's nice to be asked, you know? Ew, so drab. I mean, all that black. Is this a party or a wake? You know what I think, Mr. J? I think this needs a little invigorating redecoration. Let's get to work, Mr. J. We'll show Bat Brain how to throw a real party. Thank <laughs> you. 
must try to save my son, Cal, by sending him off-planet with all our civilization's genetic knowledge hidden in his tiny baby pants. If I can get home and put him inside our last pod, he'll be safe. As long as we put enough milk in with him, that should do the trick. It can't fail. Ah, General Zod. He wants to take over the planet which is falling to bits. What a loon. Ah, I trust his space dragon. Huh. Senseless waste. Kelix, you drongo, help me get inside. I return to find my home, besieged by General Zod and his fighters. I can't stand uninvited house guests. The front door was locked using a puzzle so complex that only a machine like Keelix could possibly ever solve it. I hoped Lara and Cal were still safe inside. Zod had no idea of my true plans for the Codex, but he seemed determined to stop me at all costs. In some ways, you have to admire his persistence. Another fiery explosion with more of Zod's men trying to hunt me down. It was at this point I began to wish I'd come in through the back door.
Finally, I can get young Cal in the escape pod. I think he might need changing first, though. Zod again? Hasn't he got better things to do? Get a decent haircut? Or not the cradle? Took Lara and I ages to put that together. Sweetheart, can you remember where we put the instructions for that? Such damage. I had once considered naming my child Zod. Lara oh. argued that we should call him Neil before we both settled for Cal. I'd definitely choose Neil before Zod now. I'd heard of rocking the cradle, but this was ridiculous. Repairing it would be vital if our plan was to succeed. Goran, one of Zod's most loyal henchmen and a formidable combatant. Shame he smelled worse than a Rondor beast. Feora, a warrior so tough, she was rumored to have taken her vacations on what was left of Wakethorn. Finally, I can get young Cal in the escape pod. I think he might need changing first, though. Zod again? Hasn't he got better things to do? Get a decent haircut? Or not the cradle? Took Lara and I ages to put that together. Sweetheart, can you remember where we put the instructions for that? Such damage. I had once considered naming my child Zod. Lara oh. argued that we should call him Neil before we both settled for Cal. I'd definitely choose Neil before Zod now. I'd heard of rocking the cradle, but this was ridiculous. Repairing it would be vital if our plan was to succeed. One of Zod's most loyal henchmen, and a formidable combatant. Shame he smelled worse than a Rondor beast. <laughs> Feora. A warrior so tough, she was rumored to have taken her vacations on what was left of Wakethorn. Cradle was finally rebuilt. This was our only chance. Goodbye, my son. Remember to write.
No, wait. Never mind. General Zod arrived at last. I couldn't let him stop our mission. I never thought that'd get off the ground. Good luck, son. Your mother's left a bunch of hologram doohickeys in the pod to teach you how to do stuff. And there's some holiday snaps from that trip to Kandor we took. Wherever you end up, make sure you wear plenty of sunscreen. And try not to lose the genetic codex I've hidden in your DNA. Me and Bizarro. Bizarro hero. Help Superman. Superman say as reward, Bizarro get on planet all to himself, very far away from other people. He say not helping, helping. Bizarro not understand, but hate new planet and make city to live in called Rocktropolis. Now very, very good man want wreck Rocktropolis, take energy from planet, make Bizarro happy to see city in peril. So me steal LexCorp replicator gun, make own league of friends. Batzaro, Bizarra, Cizaro, and Green Zaro. Apart we fight Darkseid, save planet. Bizarro league backwards! Darkseid hurts city's ends? Bizarro league must not help them, slowly! Must get people back up to ground. That better? We am make such bad team. Them not heroes. Bizarro League fight to make Superman ashamed of us. Bizarro League needs you, Batzaro. You world's worst detective. Yeah.
superhero! Job for glow powers. Uh. Rocktropolis people am free. Save more Rocktropolis people. <laughs> Not funny. Uh oh, what we do now? <laughs> Bizarro League now have Bizarro Mobile! Oh, Bizarro Mobile not last long. Watch out for Big Hurdy Laser! Bizarro League need to be very careless! Show them Bizarro League save Rocktropolis. Yay! Am did it. Just when Am thought all won, Superman and friends turn up, help us badly. Together, worst of friends. Darkseid not show face again. Bizarro Am very ungrateful for help. Rapchopel is unsafe once again! My name is Oliver Queen. I've been stranded on an island with only one goal. Survive. Survive, and one day use a proper toilet again. I must fulfill my father's dying wish to use the list of names he left me and bring down those who are poisoning my city. To do this, I must become someone else. 
I must become something else, something green and pointy and arrowy. So far I've learned how to give a bowl of water a good slapping, but my training is by no means complete. Like what if I'm attacked by a bowl of soup? Not watery soup, that really thick, thick pea soup. Whole different fighting style to water. Anyway, I'm not alone on this island. I've met another survivor, Slade Wilson. He's okay, he just likes to take his top off a little too much and hits me in the face a lot. But he assures me it's for my own good. He's agreed to train me to fight and to survive. That day, Slade and I decided to visit a nearby campsite that belonged to our not-so-friendly neighbors. We would need to trust each other if our plan was to succeed. For members of the continuity police out there, sometimes I like to imagine myself back on the island wearing my arrow costume, okay? My experiences on the island changed me. Sometimes they even changed me into a small, plastic version of myself. Slade had changed too, but he always had a plan to survive. There's no doubt in my mind that being around Slade made me stronger. I hardly ever climbed waterfalls at home. Danger was all around the island. You always had to watch your step. It was Yao Fei's bow. Slade had hidden it for safekeeping, but today, we needed to put it to good use. I remember thinking at the time that my archery had greatly improved, as well as wondering how Slade had been able to construct such an elaborate shooting gallery. We were ready to take on the bad guys. Turned out they were ready too. It was going to be tricky to get past unless we thought of something. Luckily, Slade was extremely skilled when it came to not being seen. turned out to be a setup. They were waiting to ambush us like guests at some twisted surprise birthday party without any presents, cake, or ice cream. Ah. Uh. 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 
At last, we spotted our prize. A stockpile of weapons that, for us, would make getting off the island next to impossible. We had to destroy them while we had the chance. So there you have it, another harrowing experience back on the island that made me into who I am today, into what I've become today. Now I gotta go. Felicity and Diggle worry when I flash back for too long. Remember, keep your arms straight and let go.